Hey, I'm Mr. Lawrence, a chaplain at Bishop McNally High School, and this week I want to know what you think the good news is. This is Word on the Street. My name is Agel. Agel, mm -hmm. welcome. What's the best news you've heard all week? Um, maybe like my science test. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got 95. Oh, congratulations. Mm, yes. uh, my name is Chusa. Chusa. What's the best news you've heard all week? Uh, that my paycheck was coming in. <laughs> that is good news. What is your name? Lucero. What's the best news you've heard all week? Um, Niagara came back from the United States. Do we pan over to your friend? Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> My name is Mr. Mateo. Mr. Mateo, and what's the best news you've heard all week? Oh goodness, uh, the best news I heard all week uh, was that... Oh gosh, you stumped me already, Mr. Lawrence. I'm Jessica. I'm Martha. I'm Emily. Jessica, Martha, and Emily, nailed it. What's the best news you heard all week? Um, I got a hundred on my um, on most of my tests so far. I've been doing really good on my tests so far. Well done, well done. Martha. Um, my friend made the junior girls basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Should we just like yeah, turn sure. This yeah. Over here? Uh, my name is Akulu. Akulu. Yeah. And what's the best news you've heard all week? Good news. Uh, my best friends. Your best friends? Yeah. What about him? Uh, that he got a nice job. Um, it's been a rough week. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the best news you've heard all week, Sam? Um, <laughs> that. I have enough credits to graduate. That's great news. Congratulations. See what I did there? Congratulations. Yes, my name Probably just basketball. Basketball's been happening recently. This child, you know, go, go basketball, go Wolves, go to the Wolves. Go Wolves. Basketball's growing up. That is good news. How about you? Any good news? My dad said he could drive me every day this week. That's, cool. that's good news. That's good news. Okay, first question. What is your name? David. Samuel. David and Samuel? What's the best news you've heard all week? Looks like my cousin is coming to Canada. That's great. From where? Uh, Nicaragua. Oh man, this is tough. Oh my goodness. What is the good... Oh, oh. Uh, my... Uh... Santiago Hilleron. Santiago. What's the best news you've heard all week? The best news I heard all week, the World Cup is finally starting after four years. <laughs> yes. Can't wait. Why do we look for bad news more, do you think? Because we're just not positive. We need to be more positive about things. Do you feel like there's a lot of bad news out there? Uh, I do, but I don't, I don't listen to any news. Why do you think we look for bad news more? Um, I don't know. Something about the anticipation. I don't know. Okay. Like, I kind of just wonder. You wonder? Like, yeah. when it comes across, like, what's yeah. happening now? What's terrible? Mm -hmm. What's going on now? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Oh. I feel like lots of people tend to have a pessim pessimistic mindset um, and they they tend to just bring themselves towards that negativity for no reason. Do you watch World News? No. What's that? Good, good. Because there's lots of bad news. Because usually you're, most people are so used to seeing like good news happen to them and they become kind of desensitized to it. But when they see the bad news, they remember it for a longer time. So you think that more bad news is happening. Do you hear a lot of the news? Do you follow the news? Yeah. Do you think a lot of it is bad? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because we live in Calgary. Because? Because we live in Calgary. We live in Calgary? It's just a bad news place? Yeah. Bad. 
Uh, you know what? I think our minds just, we always gravitate towards the negatives. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of a, uh, I'm not a very optimistic person. Sometimes I'm kind of pessimistic or I always look at the glass half empty versus half full. Um, and I know, I know like one of my, one of my goals in life is actually to be more optimistic, to look at the positives more so. And yeah. I feel like, um, because we just want to know what's coming next. Yeah. So like, uh, people look for the negatives more so they don't like feel shocked when it happens. Uh, do you think that's about like control? Trying to like control the uncontrollable maybe? Yeah. That's deep. I like that answer. Anybody else? Bad news. Why is it so popular? I agree with her. You agree? Maybe they look for it so that they can learn and grow from it. Learn and grow. That's a good way to look at bad news. Bad news? Well, you know, yesterday I went to that football game and we, we lost, right? So we lost to five, but at least we got silver. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Silver lining. Why is there so much bad news? Bad things happen? And I feel like people people like it because it's entertaining. Well, bad news catches people's attention more than good news. No. We never really want to hear if that guy helped an old lady across the street. It's not interesting. Sadly. I think, like, based on the questions that you asked, like, there's always something, like, the good news that you get and the bad news that you get, like, in life, there is something better coming in Christ. I don't think I know the answer. If you had to guess. Um, maybe God is coming. Yeah. Um, you believe in him and then you will find paradise. Uh, I'm not sure, but to love one another and treat everybody with respect. Uh, that he died, um, he defeated Satan, Woo. and rose up again. Woo. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. I believe in him and that he died for us. Yes. So we have to follow him. Yeah. Just follow the, the step. Awesome. The good news, uh, I have heard the good news of good. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I listened to it at church. And? And uh, it, you got to share with us. Oh, Girls it's good. Oh. So honestly, um, it's, you know, like, there, there are some situations where it might not apply to your life, but like not directly last Sunday's, uh, last Sunday's uh, gospel or word. Um, but even like the stories of, you know, the Good Samaritan, right? So that one always resonated with me. Always like helping out, always trying to be a positive individual, at least try to, right? So that you can, you know, help out even strangers. Like even in the hallway, I don't know most of the kids at the school, right? But I always do invite kids into my room if they need any help or you know if they come up to me asking for help I don't refuse to help I just want to be I want to be there to support isn't it that God loves us he wants to have a good relationship with us and that uh, he, he, we will atone for our sins what's the good news the good news of what news of salvation and yes. liberation of sin yes. all right because why because why who doesn't want to be free from their sins and who's the bringer of good news? Jesus. That he's coming, I guess. And he's coming. Absolutely, that's great news. How about you? Do you Same know that? Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. You gotta be prepared. Any other good news from Jesus? He loves all of us. Yes. Good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ? I don't know that he died for our sins. Wow, great answer. I don't know it that well. Mom? No. Nobody's told you that yet? I get to be the first one? I'm going to tell you right now, okay? God loves you. He has a plan for your life. We broke our relationship with Him through our sin, but it's okay because He died on the cross. And if you believe in Him, 
and he'll take you to heaven one day. That's the good news. Do you believe me? Yeah. Excellent. So what is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Well, Paul tells us in his letter to the Galatians, but when the fullness of the time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive adoption as sons and daughters. And that's the word in the street.